sound. All right, I'm gonna turn on the camera, switch headphones. Internet, how you doing? It's Alex R on Fight Games. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about um, some online tournaments, like the current situation with online tournaments, and I want to encourage you to like do online tournaments. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to say about it, so I, I, I kind of go on about this a lot. Um, if you've seen me talk about it before, um, you don't have to be good to enter tournaments. And back, you know, in the United States, we used to have uh, in-person tournaments, and I. I kind of heartily encourage everybody to to go to those. I feel like it's a it's a good exercise. It's good um, to go meet people, you know, like to, to see what it's like. Uh, there's like any number of reasons why you might wanna wanna play in a tournament. And I assure you, you are good enough. You can join an offline tournament if we were having offline tournaments, but we're not right now because obviously pandemic situation uh, is especially bad in the United States. So if somebody's having an offline tournament, uh, one, they shouldn't, but two, please don't go to it, because uh, I don't want you to get it sick. Um, please take care of your health. But, uh, so now we've got online tournaments, and uh, online tournaments are, you know, there's like, kind of, there's positive sides and there's negative sides to it. Um, one of the big positive sides is um, it's online. You don't have to leave your house. Uh, so you you can stay at home, you know, you can sign up for an online tournament, it's kind of like a low commitment thing, you don't have to go anywhere, um, nobody's going to see you, uh, you don't have to travel, just sit at home and play some online matches. Um, there's downsides to that, of course, um, you know, as opposed, like, obviously, kind of enthusiast, people who are big into tournaments would prefer them offline. Um, it is harder to meet people if you go to an online tournament, but in a sense, maybe it would be good for you if you're new to start out with an online one. It, it, you could you could treat this as a big opportunity. Um, one, just because it's what's available, uh, and two, because the kind of the social risk to you is pretty low. Um, you know, nobody knows who you are, um, so you can just like show up and get your first time tournament nerves out of the way. Uh, just by just by doing it online, right? Um, so it's it's kind of like a, a smaller version of the uh, of the offline tournament experience. Um, the the risk is smaller, but also the benefit is smaller because you you can't like really chat with people uh, as much as you would have in an, in an offline tournament. Um, you can't like hang out afterwards and you know get to get to talk with them. Um, so you might wonder like how do these online tournaments work? Uh, these days. Um, so just recently, the um, the Bandai Namco uh, esports folks have been running Tekken World Tour events uh, online. So if you just go to TekkenWorldTour.com, you can maybe find uh, an event in your area. Um, if your area has like a big offline scene or had a big offline scene beforehand, um, they might be running online tournaments now, maybe. Um, so for example, in the Bay Area, we used to have uh, the Wednesday Night Fights uh, events. Uh, up in Oakland and now they've just moved it online so every Wednesday night you can play online Tekken you enter the tournament um, it's kind of some of the same vibe uh, for me it's actually convenient because Oakland is kind of far from where I live I live in the Bay Area but not close to Oakland um, so I, I basically never went up there but now I can right um, it's easy uh, just play online uh, and you know a lot of these tournaments uh, are, are happening, you know, and they'll accept you, uh, even if you're fairly far away. With Tekken, the netcode is not great, so we kind of have to have, like, regional online tournaments. But for the games with better netcode, you know, they can they can serve much broader geographic areas. Um, so that's pretty cool. But um, just in general, you know, like, if you've wanted to do a tournament, you know, in the past, maybe, maybe it never occurred to you, like, like, you can do a tournament. I assure you, you're good enough. Uh, a quarter of everybody, just mathematically, uh, goes 0-2 in a tournament. And um, the more you do it, the better it is, just from like a nervous perspective, uh, from a meeting people perspective. Eventually, if it's an offline tournament, you just become a familiar face. 
um, you make friends, you know. Um, just the more you do it, the more benefit you get out of it. Uh, if you just one and done it, like you show up once and never show up again, it's it's not that big of a deal. It's not it's not helpful for you because you don't kind of work through the uh, the fear. You don't like learn to perform under pressure in a tournament setting. Um, so that's all I wanted to say about that. But uh, unless somebody happens to be in the chat, but I think I see one person viewing. I don't know if anybody's watching. But uh, if you happen to have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But what I wanted to do next was just look at the um, matches that I played at the Tekken World Tour pre-event uh, West. So let me switch my camera, make my camera little. There's me, little. And we are going to look at the replays. We'll see if we can do a little bit of match analysis. So uh, sort favorites on. Been playing a little bit of Negan. You can see that. So here's here's my tournament matches. I favorited them. We gotta do this real soon. Uh, I have to make this video right now, actually, because they're the patch is about to hit, so it'll it'll blow away my replays. So here's the first game. Let's see. Oh, let me turn on the volume so I can actually hear it, huh? Now I can hear the game audio. So I just wanted to show the um, the matches that I played. I didn't do great. Uh, I went one and two. I, I you know I consider it like a win if you go two and two in a tournament. That's for me. I'm kind of you know middling. Uh, I was a little sad, but uh, I go you know I still go into sometimes it happens. Uh, but you know what? Nothing bad happens if you lose. Everybody loses except the winner. So here I'm fighting a Josie player. Uh, I'm the Kazuya here. So that that was pretty good. Got a god fist right off the bat. Wall pressure. That was incredible. So they had that scouted. They knew, right? I, I did... Alright. <laughs> so I just want to pause this for a second. Let me turn off... Um, uh, let's turn that off. So what happened there, um, the Josie did a crouch dash 3. And crouch dash 3, this is important for the, uh, for the matchup, is exactly minus 13 on block. So if Kazuya blocks the blocks the crouch dash three, he can launch it, and that's that's real good. Um, we get a counter hit down forward two. That's a pretty good combo. I flub, uh, you know, flub the wall. That was no uh, down forward two perfect electric. Okay, okay, so they may have... I wonder if they've got that scouted now. I, I have now twice done a sidestep into down back four. Okay. Pretty good. You got the, uh, the counter hit on the... Uh... Oh yeah, I did it again, I did it again. Did you see that? Did you see that internet? What I did, like just a second ago, I did sidestep left, down back four. So I wonder if they know, if they've noticed that, or if, if that, you know. Obviously they low period it the first time I did it. That was a good hop kick. Yeah. I think what I need to work on here is like reacting to, that was a, Uh, I could have got. That was okay. I punished the spring kick. Ugh. I think that's reactable. That's Josie's uh, full crouch down forward four. It's a really good move. Okay. 
Hell sweep, hell sweep, what are you gonna do? Okay, got him to duck. Wall combo is good. Alright, alright. <laughs> Just finish it. So he might have been reading that I would go down forward one into the low. Uh, so he got he got bonked. Uh, this was a player called, um, uh, he has like a couple of handles, but he go on Twitter he goes by Pacquiao Punch. So here I got beat up this next game. So let's see if we can debug went, went, what went wrong here. So already we saw I was having trouble with his crouch dashes. He hit me with a uh, crouch dash rage drive. Not good. And I think I ate at least one crouch dash too. So we'll see if we can do better here. Spoilers, I lost, so. Okay. Oh, that was a good magic four. Ugh. Yeah, just working that. I, I think. Okay, good rake, good rake. No, slow in the launch. That was the right punish, but I was slow. I, I'm surprised actually how well, oh, okay, okay. So he's doing switch here. Good, okay, good, we launched that. That was kind of a, not a great combo. He whiffed the forward forward four and I did not punish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, good low parry, good low parry. Burns Rage. Oh! Ouch, 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 ouch. Wow! Just panic hop kick, it works. So one of my main training partners used to play Josie, and I, I guess I was a bit rusty in this matchup. I feel like I, at least with my buddy Chris, I used to always be able to react to the different crouch dash moves. I might just be out of practice. Hmm. The other thing I want to point out about this Josie is I think they always did either a high or a low out of switch, and I didn't notice that. Uh, I did not notice that while I was playing them. But I watched these once before, so I switched to Armor King. So it's now 1-1. And I was hoping I would be able to... I don't know why, I shouldn't have switched. I don't know, I probably should have stuck with Kazuya. It's probably a better matchup. Just because you can launch um, Crouch Dash 3. I was planning on just doing more of like a... Uh, you know, throw a mix-up game. But to do a throw mix-up game, you have to make them block first, and this guy was kind of aggressive. Okay, okay. Did not react to the Crouch Dash 3. Did not react to the Crouch Dash 3. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, my turn. Shining Wizard. Oh no. Yeah, so that's another instance of a switch into a low or a high. So that was the, the switch for a low. I'm not low parrying that. That would have been... Yeah, just getting mixed. Okay, okay. We got a little punish. Wow! Why didn't that punish? So he's doing jabs into a high or a low also, so I should've... That was good. Wall pressure, okay. Not a good punish. 
but it's something. Okay, wow, he ducked right there. Okay, okay. We reacted that time. Yeah, switch into a low. That was a really good whiff punish. Bump, bump, bump. There's the two grab. I got timid there. Oh, I got timid. I think if I had pressed, that might have gone different. That wasn't like such a beatdown. I got mixed. And I didn't. Yeah. Crouch dash mix ups. Okay, so what could we have done better there? Um, he did. He was not making me respect Switch. Like, if I had, like, duck-jabbed against Switch, then that would've worked. Um, or just started ducking, right? And I wasn't reacting to the difference between Crouch Dash 3 and Crouch Dash 2. Um, yeah, not great, not great. All right, so next match, um, we played a Horong player. This one went a bit better. Oh, hey, we got a viewer. Hey, Throbs. How you doing? I wonder who will be the next set of characters in the game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think I think the if you were a betting person, you'd probably say it was Kunimitsu, right? Uh, or possibly June. I personally, I'd be like super happy if it's either of those. Um, I don't know. Who do you think it's going to be? All right, so we got this Warung player. Start off with a Hell Sweep. So somebody... All right. He's a, he's a Backlash. That was not a good punish. He's a Backlash Warung. It's pretty normal. Yeah, we punished that. All of his power crushes are obviously, you know, mid-power crushes, so they're punishable. Back three, though, I gotta get a bigger punish on it. Yeah, we punish that. No! Out of range. He just happened to get clipped by that. There was no good reason to get clipped by it. But he did. Good break. I should have ducked to block that low, um, but yeah, just got bonked. Bump. This was online, I would, okay, okay, he wished the back three. Okay, we punish that, good. Yep, 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 yep. So, nothing all that exciting going on there. All right. So next match against that same player. Oh my goodness. Bring Terry Bogard into Tekken 7. Throbs, I like this idea. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, Terry is a really good guest character. He's in so many games. He's in, um, uh, what's he guess character in? Smash, obviously. Um, uh, Fighting AX Slayer. Yeah, I wholeheartedly support Terry Bogard for Tekken. He's gotta come and beat, beat up Geese, right? Okay, they power crush right out the bat. Uh, a little slow. Backlash Man is so hard. It's so hard to whiff punish. I feel like it should whiff worse. Like, if you duck it, you should get to launch it. It's like safe on whiff, that sucks. 
Oh, this guy. <laughs> okay, he went for another mid power crush. Okay, yeah. I did not commit. I think that's hit confirmable. I need to hit confirm that. Okay. At least we got a punish on it to the wall. Yeah. Just guessed wrong. Okay, no punish on my down forward too. He's backlash in some more. Okay, he, he went into right foot forward and then he showed me a different move there. He did not do backlash, which is, you know, admirable restraint. Bump. Yep. Crunch. I don't know. I feel like that's not, like... Oh, terrible combo. I, I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that. I was so ready. So what? Okay, punish that. Yep, yep, we're ready. We're ready. What's he gonna do? And this should be it. Yeah. So I put two jabs into that power crush. Notice that he was power crushing, blocked, and then punished it. I, I was pretty happy about that. All right. So I'm now one and one. In, uh, in the tournament. Uh, next player. So I saw that I was going to play this guy in the brackets, and I went and I found what his deal was. Like, his icon was for, was martial law. Um, his Twitter has, like, martial law on it. Uh, I found tournament footage of him. He is, like, obviously a law player, right? Like, look at his name. His name is Leighton Law. Uh... So I was thinking, all right, well, he's a law player. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pick Kazumi because I want an easy 15 frame punish. I was like, if he does down two, three, I want to launch it. And like a good Kazuya player obviously would be able to, would be able to electric that, but I wasn't feeling confident in my ability to electric that uh, online, even offline. I, you know, let's be real. I don't, I don't normally block punish minus 15 of electric uh i should i should that's the thing I, I i aspire to uh but i wanted the hop kick but he picks paul on me so i, I was like surprised i was like uh oh what do i do here uh, you know this is obviously this is okay like oh i finished it i finished it he tried to launch it he was a little slow i think it's a little bit laggy I, I suspect that he may be in Hawaii. Oh, no hit confirm. Running two is super good. This is a good move for Kazumi. Okay, we go in with the Hell Sweep. Up against the wall, no break, and that's Dunzo. We get a round. Nice. So I was feeling good at this point. I was like, all right, we got this guy. So what bad Paul players do a lot of the time, they'll do the roll into wall standing 3-2 and the second hit is high. That was real good. He did that too. So he, he did a lot of like not finishing strings, expecting me to like be watching for the string extension. So like, um, that was real good. I shouldn't have finished that. He was ready to punish it. Uh, he did like QCB 3-2, expecting me to try to like guess the mix up. All right. They go for the mid there, because I showed him the hell sweep before. Okay, so you, 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 internet, my viewers, my viewers, you see what he did there earlier? Like just a second ago, he did quarter circle quarter circle forward one into down forward two, and I believe that's it's safe. It might be plus unblock. Let's check real quick. Actually, I don't want to lead you astray. We're getting this. It is 
Okay, it's safe. It's safe. So he was doing like... Hey, Masquerade, how you doing? So he did the safe high into a down forward two, expecting that I would try to retaliate with jabs. It did not happen to work there. Show him the hell sweep again, but this is gonna come up again. Okay. All right, we anti-air with the forward forward two. That was like way too yellow. I, that would have worked if he had started with a round start jab, which people often do, but I, I shouldn't do that in tournament. That's too risky. I basically threw away the round. Good throw break. Okay, okay. So he, he like, uh, he was probably expecting 3-2 which is mid-high, and he got clipped by the mid. That was a little bit risky. We slipped the jabs. Running two, running two, uh-oh. Death fists are coming out, I didn't punish the low. <sighs> that was so ridiculous, like, okay. I got clipped by the forward forward two two which is like an extremely telegraphed little launcher. And if you happen to block it, the pushback is ridiculous. So you basically have to parry it. But that killed me, that was no good. So GG, so what he started to do there, so he he did QCF1 into down forward two. He's gonna do that again later. And he started establishing mix-ups where like, he'll do a string that like goes into a mix-up, but he doesn't finish it like, thus establishing, like, mental frame advantage. Okay, so for the next game, I was like, well, I wasn't expecting you to play Paul. So I'm going to switch back to Kazuya. And this is for my tournament life, right? Like, if I lose this game, then I'm, then I'm out of the tournament. Uh, which, you know, it, it happens. Like, you, you lose sometimes. It's gotta happen. Somebody has to lose. Might as well be you. So there's gonna be more of that, more um, kind of like a mental frame advantage setups. See if I can do a little better here. No, oh man. He just whiffed a death fist. I should've punished that. So he's kind of like going in with the, um... That's really good, just doing the three. It like establishes the mental frame advantage. Like, is he gonna do three two, you know? So he hop kicked against my, uh, against my get up kick and that was really good. Good step, good step. Oh, whiff the throw. With the throw. I was too timid. I should have dashed deeper. Yeah, so that, that happened again, right? So that was uh, plus frames, the, the back sway four. That was so clever. Okay, okay. And it was, that was dumb that I got hit with that. All right, internet, do you understand what happened there? So he did the mid high, so that's, um, Ford Ford T1, the just frame. <sighs> Expecting, knowing that I was uh, at plus frames, he thought I might I might jab at that moment. And then he did the shoulder that gets under jab, so he high crushed my... There's that same thing again, the QCV, uh, good punish, good punish, that was really good. He did QCB 3-2, and then didn't do the extension. Good, okay, okay. So I got plus frames from the down back four into an electric, and that was like, okay. So he pressed into, I blocked it that time. The right thing to do is low parry. 
So he tried the uh, Ford Ford 2 2 again. And thankfully, I didn't get hit with it. Ah, there I got hit with it. That's so terrible. Oh, what an awful thing to do. Okay, while standing two. Okay, so I stepped it. I was off axis, but I did not. Okay, he's setting up the mix up. That's so good for frame, like mental frame advantage. Uh. Wave, wave, hell sweep. Yep, the hell sweep is good. No, no punish, no punish. Ah. Uh. Okay, there's a punish. It's pretty good. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, that's gross. That's so gross. So he did quarter circle forward one twice. And then when I finally jabbed, the down forward two clipped me. It was just the right range. The down forward two has like a little bit of high crush. That's gross. And then he punishes my, my gut punch with jabs because it's minus 12. So and then I was out of the tournament. And you know, these things happen. Uh, sometimes you lose. In fact, usually you lose. Unless you win, you lose. Um, all right, so that was um, that was my matches from this weekend. Um, do appreciate uh, you tuning in if you watch this live on Twitch um, for the two people who I think came in and said hi. Um, and I guess I'm going to call the video for now, but thank you for watching. Uh, and I uh, hope everybody stays safe and sane and uh, has a good day. So uh, thanks so much. See ya.